Good evening, this is Jackie McLaughlin, and we're here tonight to talk about antioxidants. What are they? Why do we need them? And where do we find them? So according to, I, I did several Google searches on just defining exactly what antioxidants are, and um, one article by WebMD states that antioxidants protect the body from damage caused by harmful molecules called free radicals. Now, many experts believe that this damage is a factor in the development of blood vessel disease like atherosclerosis and cancer and other conditions. <clears throat> so you're exposed to free radicals uh, through by it's, it's actually a byproduct of normal processes that take place in your body, uh, such as the burning of sugars for energy, the release of digestive enzymes to break down food, and even when you work out, working out is a good thing, but it creates oxidative stress in the body, uh, which creates free radicals. And also when the body has to break down certain medications, as well as pollutants, which we all know we're exposed to lots of pollutants everywhere. So we get a lot of oxidative stress in our body, which is what those things are. And antioxidants uh, are often referred to as... Um, food sources. That's the best place. According to the article from WebMD, uh, it's, they say it's best to get your antioxidants from a whole food source as opposed to um, synthetic um, supplements and things like that. So uh, these antioxidants protect the body from the damage that's caused by those free radicals. Um, some of these antioxidant food sources contain vitamins like C and E, as well as minerals. Uh, they are flavonoids, which are, uh, they have flavonoids, which are uh, found in plants. And again, the best sources for antioxidants is fruits and vegetables. So how do they work? Well, basically, um, Oxidative stress occurs when an oxygen molecule splits into a single atom with an unpaired electron. And these are called free radicals when that happens. Uh, these electrons like to be in pairs and the atoms um, called free radicals scavenge the body to seek out other electrons so they can become a pair also. This causes damage to the cells, proteins, as well as DNA. So, Antioxidants, what they do is they provi provide that pair for that electron or for that um, atom that needs, a, needs an electron uh, so that it makes it whole again. And that's, what, that's how they work. The anti antioxidants actually provide that missing uh, electron to complete that cycle, if you will. So the antioxidant actually donates an electron to the free radicals unpaired electron and then that stops it from being a free radical. So what causes free radicals? Well, we've already talked about this just a little bit, but pollution, stress, and we often um, don't think about stress because it's a constant thing. It's something that we're exposed to in our lives on a daily basis. And um, it's, it's like a long-term kind of an effect. You know, it's part of our daily life, part of our routine. So we often don't think about stress because it's something we think we're handling or we deal with it for so much that it just becomes part of our normalcy, if you want to call it that. Well, that stress is creating free radicals in the body all the time. So... Other things are processed foods, which we know in our society, in Western society, we have way too much processed food. We, um, toxins, we know we're, we're inundated from toxins in every way, um, you know, in the air we breathe, the water we drink, uh, the foods that we take in, the things that are in our home. You know, we have carpets that off-gas formaldehyde and woods and I mean we're surrounded by to toxic loads uh, and then 
as I mentioned earlier, even exercise can create these free radicals. So there are many other processes, but these are sort of the main ones. Um, so we're here tonight to share with you how you can combat that um, onslaught of free radicals in the body. And Young Living provides their antioxidant superfood infusion of a drink called Ninja Red. It literally is a whole body nutrient infusion and it's packed, uh, literally packed with very good antioxidants, the best known. So this is kind of a graph of antioxidants, uh, fruits and vegetables that are known to be high in antioxidant protection. The top one is carrots uh, and then you see it's a little bit, onions are a little better, oranges, beets, each one of these goes up, Brussels sprouts, spinach, strawberries, blackberries, and then we get to the pomegranates, and the pomegranates is quite, you know, prolific in their antioxidant qualities, but then when you look at the Ninja Wolfberry, uh, pomegranate's about 12,500 on this graph, and Ninja Wolfberries are over 30,000. So you can see that uh, the Ninja Wolfberry, which is the primary ingredient in our Ninja Red, has a tremendous amount of antioxidant power, uh, sort of a power punch. And then we also have pomegranate in the Ninja Red, as well as um, blueberries, uh, aronia, cherry, and plum. So these are all good food sources of antioxidants. So this is why the Ningxia Red is such a very effective antioxidant drink. Um, it's just another graph showing you the same uh, statistics. I didn't know if you could see this one better, but it's the same material presented in a different graph format. And this da data was all taken from an independent laboratory from Brunswick Laboratories, uh, and they are the ones that compiled this um, assessment of antioxidant qualities for these different food sources. And the Ninja Wolfberry is very different. Well, it's specifically the Ninja Wolfberry, not just any Wolfberry, because it does matter. Um, this particular wolfberry that's used in the Ningxia Red is grown in the Ningxia province of China at the foot of the Himalayan mountains and they, it's, it's organically grown and it's very totally natural and it gets all the minerals and the vitamins from the runoff from, uh, the, from the mountains there. And so as you can see this is a really powerful antioxidant drink. And <clears throat> we get our Ninja Red uh, in bottle form or packets, two ounce packets. So I like the bottles in, when I'm at home and I keep it in the refrigerator after it's been opened and I like to drink it when it's cold. But if I'm traveling, the packets are very, very handy and they come in a two ounce serving. And uh, the recommended serving of the Ninja Red is two to four ounces. So one to two packets a day, or using um, a two ounce shot glass, you could do a two ounce dose like that. So we know that um, the ingredients in the Ninja Red give us lots of energy, and they replenish our body of nutrients that are depleted through um, just normal daily living and being exposed to these things we've talked about already, like the I mean, when we exercise, when we have um, stress in our lives, when we are exposed to toxins and pollution and processed foods, all these things create oxidative stress in the body. So this drink is going to help energize you as well as fortify the body and uh, help replenish and nourish those cells. So we already talked about what are antioxidants. So they are basically... Um, a source that provides uh, an electron to a free radical to match it up so it is no longer a free radical, so it completes that process. And we want antioxidant balance because, you know, a lot of people will, will eat one thing because it, they know that it's high antioxidant. So blueberries is a very common 
uh, fruit that people think of uh, as having great antioxidant capabilities. But you want to get your antioxidants from multiple sources. So a good diet of um, whole foods, nutrition from fruits and vegetables is one way. And you want multiple ways to get these antioxidants into your body. And then we have, again, our Ninja Red, which is packed full of many different antioxidant sources in uh, the fruit category, as well as our essential oils that um, come in Ninja Red. So <clears throat> what, what do you get in the uh, nutrition side from the whole body nutrient infusion of uh, Ninja Red? We get our anthocyanins, our boron, calcium, catechin, gallate, copper, iron, lycopene, magnesium, manganese, MSM, phenols, potassium, sodium, strontium, tocopherols, and tocotrienols, and vitamin C and zinc. So as you can see, that's a whole lot of stuff in addition to the antioxidant action of those fruits. Uh, it's made from the whole fruit of the wolfberry from the Ningxia province of China, China. And the wolfberries contain every essential amino acid. And this is really big because uh, it's hard to find all of them in one food source. And it also has 13% protein by weight uh, in the wolfberries. Uh, so it offers one of the highest levels of protein of any fruit. So that's really cool. Uh, I know me, I don't get an, probably enough protein in my diet. I love to eat wolfberries though, so I'm working on it. And then we have our essential oils that are in the drink. We have tangerine, orange, yuzu, and lemon. And these oils are very high in D-limonene. And if you want to know the benefits of D-limonene, just Google it. It's D-L-I-M-O-N-E-N-E. -N -E. And limonene. <laughs> And uh, it's just, you'll be amazed when you start reading about D-limonene, what, what it's known to support and do for the body. So you have these oils in your Ninja Red, and a lot of people like to add more oils to their Ninja Red, so I like to do that. I love to put frankincense uh, vitality in my Ninja Red, uh, as well as others. Uh, so it's... You can kind of dress it up. We have our ninja shots, we call them, there where you have different oils to give it different flavors. And uh, it's kind of fun to have uh, a ninja bar where we mix our ninja with different oils and experiment with that. So the fruit that's in the ninja wolfberry, I mean the ninja red, is the wolfberry puree. As I mentioned, that's the primary ingredient. It also has the blueberry, aronia, cherry, pomegranate, plum, and grape. And it uses the whole fruit, like the, the cherry and the blueberry and the, and the uh, wolfberries, they, they, and the plum, all that. They use the entire fruit, the skin and everything, which is very important because this is where a lot of that antioxidant qualities come from. And Ninja Red is kosher as well as halal approved. Uh, we use a patented grapeseed extract. And Ninja Red does not contain processed high fructose sweeteners. It's very difficult to find um, drinks that, are, that provide energy like Ninja Red does that aren't full of high fructose sweeteners, which are very, very bad for you. And um, we use a, just a um, stevia to sweeten it and um, blueberry, cherry, aronia, pomegranate, and plum were carefully selected because of their bioactive phytonutrients and ability to support energy. So these fruits were very specifically selected uh, because of the way they work together, that bioactive uh, phytonutrients. Um, and they contribute also to that energy support. So we're getting energy from natural food sources, not from stimulants, no caffeine, no artificial energy. So this is a natural way to give your body um, the natural energy for the cells through food and nutrition as opposed to harmful stimulants. So this is a very important thing about Ninja Red and one of the things I love about it because you can drink as much of it as you want 
and you're not going to get all jittery and crazy and um, have side effects. You know, a blood sugar spike, it's safe for diabetics. It has a very low glycemic index. And um, there's just, you can't do better than that. Uh, it supports the whole body health and overall wellness, helps maintain normal eye health as well as cellular function. Again, I mentioned before, it contains D-limonene, a powerful component in the citrus oils that provides energy support and helps prevent against oxidative stress. Now, what we talked about in the beginning was just what oxidative stress is. So to give you another sort of corollary to that, <clears throat> if you picture um, rust on metal, that's oxidative stress. When when your lawnmower get you don't keep it clean and clean off the wet grass, you know, the underneath side will start to rust. Same thing with um, cars that get exposed to a lot of salt and, and moisture. That salt erodes the metal and it gets rusty. Well, that rust is the same thing that happens kind of in the body when we have oxidative stress in the body because rust is oxidated. It's oxidation on the metal. And this same thing can happen in our bodies. Um, so it affects our health. And this oxidative stress is what we're working to uh, combat against when we drink the Ninja Red on a regular basis. Um, so that's why we want to be sure that we start drinking Ninja Red daily over long term for optimal health. Uh, one of the things I haven't mentioned is when we talked about eye health, the ninja red is very high in zeaxanthin and lutein. And these are nutrients that the eyes need and they decrease with age. So as, as you drink it on a regular basis, you're literally feeding your eyes nutrition that they need to be healthy as well. So many people have reported that after drinking ninja red on a regular basis, uh, their prescription changed to much milder. So it's been shown to be true. I've, I've even seen people who, you know, it's weird how oxidative stress affects the body and everybody's different. But I know people who had turned, their hair had turned gray prematurely. If you're going to think about, you know, if you expect to be gray when you're 60, then, um, you know, I don't, I'm not gray. I have a few gray hairs, but, um, I don't, I'm not gray yet, not by any stretch of the means. My husband's 70, and he's just barely getting a little bit of gray. And because we drink Ninja Red every day. But I've known, personally seen people who, when they started drinking Ninja Red on a daily basis, their hair started to turn back to their normal color. So that just shows you if, if oxidative stress is what's causing your hair to be gray, then maybe, <laughs> maybe drinking Ninja Red could help your body um, go back who knows it's worth a shot you just try it um so um if you if you are interested in learning more about ninja red you know get back to the person who invited you to this webinar because they can help you they can help you get it at the best price possible by getting a wholesale account and um, if you were not invited by someone specific, but you joined us through an ad or a flyer uh, that had no name on it, if, it, if the, you want to look on that flyer and if it has a name and contact information, you want to be sure to get back to that person. But if you came to this webinar because you saw another flyer somewhere and it didn't have a name on it, then you can contact me and I'll be happy to help you. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, sort of quick um, lesson on antioxidants, what they are, why we need them, and what do they do for us, and where can we get some. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this webinar. We'll be having more on other topics, and we hope you come back on the next one.